Hey guys, hi. So we are back here with the next NCERT series that is exercise 1.4 of first chapter that is real numbers of class 10th CBSE NCERT. So yes, this is in front of all of you exercise 1.4 and now we are going to discuss the first question itself but here from 6th to 10th. So we had in the previous video we had already discussed question 1 in which we did first part till fifth part. So that you would have seen obviously. And now we'll be talking about 6 to 10th and question number 2nd and 3rd as well. Okay. So we'll be talking about these questions in this video. So let's start without wasting any much further time. Now here if I talk about. So the question says. Uh, so here. Okay. So these all details I gave. Okay. Fine. So here what the question says. Without actually performing the long division. State whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non-terminating repeating decimal expansion. Means basically we have to tell that whether is it going to have terminating decimal or non-terminating decimal. Okay. Let's see how we are going to do that. So I guess this answer would be pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. That simply you have to check the denominator uh, only. So in the denominator, only friend numbers, we have already talked about this. So 2 and 5, only friend numbers means terminating. Without even thinking, you have to just remember 2 and 5 they are friend numbers. So if they are friend numbers, obviously it is going to give non, it is going to give terminating. And any number apart from 2 and 5, that is non-friend number. So non-friend number, non-friend number is going to give you non-terminating decimal. Pretty simple, isn't it? So let's see here. 2 raised to power 2, 5 raised to power 7, 7 raised to power 5. Again, you are able to see 7 raised to power 5. And this will not be cancelled by 129. So here. I guess you are understanding that you have to first of all put it in the simplified format. So even if you want to do it simplification 129 by 2 raised to power 2, 5 raised to power 5, sorry 7 and 7 raised to power 5. Even if you do simplification you will write 3 into 41 and that is nowhere cancelable or that is nowhere getting cancelled by 2 raised to power 2, 5 raised to power 7 and 7 raised to power 5. Nowhere it is going to get cancelled. So what you have to do is what do you have to do that here you are able to find non friend number so this means it is going to be non terminating simple again in the denominator check the denominator so you have got 6 by 15 so 6 by 15 here it will be cancelled first by 3 i guess because this is 2 into 3 and this is 3 into 5 so if you directly look at the denominator it will look like non terminating because non friend number is there but in reality that non friend number is getting cancelled and finally you will have 2 by 5 only so since only 2 by 5 is there, only 5 is there. So only 5 is there in the denominator. This means it is friend number. This means it is going to be terminating. So that is why you will call this number as terminating. Fine. I hope you are understanding. 50 is itself without even cancellation. By default, it is having only 2 and 5 because 50 is nothing but 2 into 5 square. So 2 into 5 square, all friend numbers. So obviously terminating. And 210. So here you will have to think. So 77 by 210. So if I write here. 77 by 210. This means you'll have to write 7 into 11. And then for 210, you'll have to write 3 into 7 into 10. So 10 is nothing but 2 into 5. That is friend number. Isn't it? 3 into 7, 21. So here 7 and 7 is cancelled. But in the denominator, still you are having a 3, which is a non-friend number. So due to this non-friend number, this entire fraction will be non-terminating. Fine. I hope you got it. So this last one is non-terminating. So we got terminating, non-terminating, terminating, terminating, non-terminating. So only 7th and 10th is non-terminating. Rest all are terminating. So 7th and 10th. Let's check the solution as well. So 6 is terminating. 7th is non-terminating. 8th is terminating. 9th is terminating. And 10th is again non-terminating. Non-terminating. Fine. So let's move on to the next question. Second one. The second question says write down the decimal expansion of those rational numbers in question 1 above which have terminating decimal expansion okay so we would not be able to do all of them uh, because i don't even remember the question so what i can do for you guys that we can take the questions which is given in 6 to 10th so i hope you remember that sixth question the sixth question this is giving you terminating so 23 upon 2 cube 5 square so I, i'll do the a decimal expansion here itself you can write down the la uh, answer later on in the second question but i'll do the answer here itself please see pay attention six one you have got 23 upon 2 cube and 5 square. So we have already talked about in the previous video also I had said you 
that whenever you have to find the decimal expansion, you have to just take care that in the denominator, your 2 and 5 should be in pairs. Okay. So, here you have got 5 square. 5 square means 2 fives. <clears throat> so, for 2 fives, do you have 2 twos? Means 2 square. So, yes, that, that is there. But up, along with it, there is extra 1, 2. Means 2 cube can be written as 2 into 2 square. And then 5 square is already there. So, this, these numbers are already in pair. But this 1 single 2, it is left behind. This is not in pair. So, since this is not in pair, ye pair mein nahi hai, so we will have to provide a 5. Isko compensate karne ke liye hume ek 5 provide karna padega. So, we have provided this 5. Humne 5 provide kiya yaha pe. Aur isko compensate karne ke liye upar numerator mein bhi 5 dalna hooga. Numerator mein already 23 betha hua hai. Thik hai? So, 23 into 5 kya ho gaya? 115. Aur denominator mein 2 square 5 square to thai. Aur ye bhi ek 2 over 5 aagya. Matlab 2 into 5 ka total 3 pairs hai. 2 into 5 ka whole cube. Thik hai? So, what do you got? You got 115 divided by 10 ka cube matlab 1000. So, this value is 0 0.115. Balle balle. We got the decimal expansion. Similarly, second wale mein baat hi nahi. Matlab seventh wale mein baat hi nahi karenge because non-terminating hai. Third wale mein baat karte hai. 6 by 15. So, yaan to dekha hai 2 by 5 hai. Bade balle balle bat tarikhe se aram se answer aega 2 by 5 hai. Denominator mein 2 multiply karo. Numerator mein bhi 2 multiply karo. Isn't it? So, denominator, numerator, dono mein 2 multiply kiya. So, numerator mein 4 aagya, denominator mein 2 fives are 10 aagya. 10 hi to chahi hai We always want 10 in the denominator. Denominator mein sirf 10. We only need 10. So, 4 by 10 means 0 0.4. Cool. This ke baad 9th wala bhi terminating hai. To isko bhi dekh lete hai. So, 7 by 10. This is the, so simple. 7 by 10, jaise hi simplify karo, you'll get 0 0.7. Yo, yo, balle, balle. So, 10th wala ki baat hi nahi karni hai. So, it's not terminating. Means we did all of them. Okay. Cool. Chalo, moving ahead. So, here first se hai. So, in the previous video also, we had done these questions. So, you can just go through it and you can actually see this. Although this much long division is not required, you can directly. So, iska ek, ek, just one example I am doing. 13 by 3125. So, if you do remember, 3125 was 5 raised to power 5. Hmm? So, here 2 is missing. How many 2s? So, you have to actually supply 2 raised to power 5. Tabhi to pair banenge. So, to compensate it, you will have to do here as well. So, 2 raised to power 5 matlab, ye 13 to already hai, 32 will be extra provided by us. And here in the denominator, you have got 2 into 5 whole raised to power 5. So, 32 into 13 matlab, 13 into 26 ka 6, 3, 49, or 42, 4, 2, 6. Uh, wait a second. 13, 49, or uh, 41, sorry. 4, 1, and this is 10 raised to power 5. Means it is going to have 0 0.00416. Simple, simple. Itna division karne ki zaroot hi we have got the answer. Okay. Fine. So these all are the solutions. You can just go through them. Six one we did 0 0.115, seventh one 0 0.4, 0 0.7, and that's it. Okay. Chalo. So I guess we have already done this question. So I don't think this question would be required because this looks like repetition. Oh, okay, so this should be a third question. The following real numbers have expansion as given below. In each case, decide whether they are rational or not. If they are not rational, and of the form, if they are rational, sorry, if they are rational and of the form P by Q, P by Q, what can you say about the prime factors of Q? So I guess we have done it, but in case if, if we have not done it, let me do it once again. So 43 point whatever number is there. So for the first one, what you will do? You will write 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then divided by, you have got 9 digits in the right side. So, for that, you will write 10 raised to power 9 in the denominator. So, denominator is prime factorization. So easy. 2 into 5 whole raised to power 9. Simple, simple. Isn't it? Similarly here, this is actually irrational. Because why irrational? 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, double 0, 1, 2, triple 0, 1, 2, tetra 0. So, actually pattern is not repeating. It's every time changing. So, that is why it's irrational. Non-terminating and non-repeating pattern. Now, if you come here, so here you'll have to actually solve it. So, I have already said you the method. The method of finding this P by Q format of these type of numbers. Although it was already taught in class 9. But still, uh, what you have to do, short trick would be that whatever number you have, just write all the digits. 4, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Write all of them. And then subtract minus those digits which are not in bar. 
those digits which are not in bar. So in not in bar, they are 4, 3 only. So I have done that. Divided by. Put as many nines that many digits which are in bar. So put as many nines. Utne nine dalo, utne bar nine likho, jitne digits tumhare bar mein hai. So tumhare bar mein 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 no digit hai. So 9 no bar no likho. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. अब इसका प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन करना है तो बड़ा सिंपल है 9 into 1 होगा तो 9 का मतलब 3 स्क्वायर 1 लिख दो 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 बल्ले बल्ले ठीक है तो इससे हमारा आंसर आ गया देखो पहले वाले का तो आ ही गया 2 और 5 दिखेगा सिर्फ दूसरा वाला तो नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग है तो इरैशनल है और तीसरे वाले की बात करें तो तीसरे वाले में भी 2 और 5 नहीं आने वाला है बिकॉज़ नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग है तो 2 और 5 के अलावा भी आ जाएगा ठीक है चलो तो इफ यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट so yes, that was all. And if you really liked it, so you can, if you want to learn more with Vedantu's master teacher, with me, many other master teachers, you can join Vedantu's live online classes where Vedantu's has solved all of your online problems, all of your problems which you face in online education, like doubts, notes, test assignments, competitive exams, preparation, choice of schedule and choice of language. So all these problems have been solved, solved by Vedantu for you guys only. And not only this much, in fact, Bonuses has also bonus is also there. What bonus? That you will be actually getting unlimited live classes. Unlimited. Unlimited means that you can take n number of sessions in a day. No one will is going to stop you. All micro courses and crash courses will be free for you. Performance report would be given to your on your mail ID, and personalized attention would also be given to you through a personal teacher. So these all things will be coming in just one subscription. So if you go for a subscription of Vedantu. You'll be able to get the benefit of all these things, all live classes, micro courses, crash courses, and everything, whatnot. So you have to just go to this link which says vdnt.in slash ypro. Mind it that this is in small letters, this is in capital letters. You have to go there. Once you go there, you'll be able to find uh aapka jo bhi course hoga, us course ko ek bar find out kar lena. Jitte bhi time period ka hoga, one month, three months, six months, jitte time ka lena chato, ya 12 months, jitte time ka subscription lena chato, utte time ka lelo. Lene ke baad, पैसे वाले पेमेंट पेज पे आओगे तो देयर यू कैन यूज दिस डिस्काउंट कूपन कोड एचपी प्रो इससे यू विल बी गेटिंग अ 15% डिस्काउंट तो ये मेरा पर्सनल कूपन कोड है तो यूज द कूपन कोड एचपी एचपी प्रो एंड गो ऑन दिस लिंक यू विल फाइंड द कोर्स और उसके बाद बल्ले बल्ले ठीक है चलो सो गाइस दैट वाज ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर बीइंग हियर एंड इट वाज रियली अ फैंटास्टिक सेशन विद यू ऑल सी यू ऑल इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन टिल देन बाय बाय टेक केयर एंड गुड नाइट लव यू बाय बाय